How do we survive something like this? Keep watching to find out. So how do we survive machete attack? Well, if you've been on the internet, you saw two opinions. One is more extreme than the other. The first one is it's unsolvable. You're just going to die. There's not even worth trying. Just die. The second one is pretty easy. Just step back. Just put your arm there. Is it really that easy or is it unsolvable? Keep watching and we'll show you. So where do we as a Sorudo stand? Is it the first opinion or the second? Actually, the answer is somewhere in the middle because there's definitely not saying that it's easy. This is very hard, it has, like it's a machete. You will have to have a lot of training, but it's not unsolvable because you can solve this situation. How? When it comes to the first opinion that it's practically easy, you will see solutions something like, because he has to always make the biggest uh, draw, so you'll be able to stop and hit. After you hit, you hold the machete and you're just going to knee him to the balls and he will die and all the problems of the world just disappear. Basically what you see here is that the attacker with machete is the biggest dummy and the only way he can attack is just strictly up and down. This gives me very good angle to just make him slide off my hand. Great. So what are the problems here? Does he always have to fight like this? Like he has machete. He can do anything with it. And if I try at any point to block, who's saying that he cannot follow through? Or even just to finally be able to get the hand there. If you, do, if you think oh, we're just doing it bad, try to, to give something partner like that is very light and he can just very slash with it and try to create the angles there. It will look something like this. Take something that is uh, not as hard, so if you get hit, it doesn't hurt as much. But now I will be in the position where I will try to do the technique right. So let's try it. Great, and now I'm just kept up. This is how a machete attack is going to look like. He's not going to be just swinging up and down. He'll swing, swing anywhere, everywhere, and it's not as easy as it sees in the self-defense videos. We're not even talking about the second part where you're kneeing someone, you're not stable, you're kneeing someone who has a machete. It's all just wrong. Mm. But if we are looking at his swinging and you are trying to just block and hit, I have my second hand as well, and I am not going to just one slash. So what can happen is I block and I go here. It's not as easy as it uh, looks in the videos. It always works when partner is cooperating with you, but let's say give him a machete, you know, go anywhere, anywhere, and I will do my technique. Great, amazing. I was training this for 20 new years. How does it not work? Even bigger problem with this, that this just forces me to just stay in one place. If the second person is going to be running, and keep in mind, we are now similar weight, and I still cannot stop him. If I, imagine if I'm a 50 killer, and I, I'm not going to just one slash. So what can happen is I block and I go here. It's like trying to stop a bus with just standing in front of the bus and I will stop you. Of course not. So how do we solve this in Sorudo? Well, it's definitely not by standing in one place and try to block and hit. You will have to move and you can really move into the attacker, which you are minimalizing one thing. If you are just going to get your hand there and I will slash, I'm just going through and your arm is falling off. If you really enter here, let's say you can either right away get the arm or maybe somewhere here. It's just like with taking a punch. You never want to take the punch at the full force when it's extended, but when it's a little bit closer. That's a big difference. If you haven't done like one MMA boxing training, you know you don't want to take full hit. The same goes here. Difference between I go through and I go really in and I'm here. Hand better if you catch it on the blade, it's still better than him being able to follow through completely. Even if you are running towards the attacker, what can happen is that I change the angle when I'm striking. So you may think that it's going up, but I'm changing it and now I'm slashing through the whole belly. So here, just thinking about blocks is not really a good idea. You are blocking a machete at the end of the day. Like, do you want to count on it? Definitely not. So the key point here is not just to stand in one place, but you actually want to evade the path of the weapon, plus hitting me, giving me some reason to stop. If we are just going to be fighting for weapon, it doesn't solve anything. You need to hit me and you need to escape. So it would look something like this. If we show it very slow, when I'm going, you don't want to be just going straight path, I'm going and you want to be somewhere here hitting me with it as well. If you change the angle a little bit, you will see it from here. I'm going boom. Even better, if I am really running at you, you will just not be standing in my path, like with the bus, like we showed earlier. Not just stand, but move out of the way. That's the solution should be here. Of course, it requires very good timing, very good placement of, like, it's a lot of training, but it's not unsolvable. The technique itself is easy, but getting to the technique is the harder part. Let's say it's a simple, not the easy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
but this is when you are solving the machete with bare hands because it was close, no time. You don't want to solve everything with your bare hands. If you can, you should get your weapon. Even baton versus machete, a lot better than having just your hands. Even losing the technical advantages outside like we showed you in previous videos. Uh, from lamps, to cars, to doors. We showed you in previous videos how it much helps you when even I have machete. When he's behind door, like, okay, he can have whatever he wants in his hand. Sword, machete, <laughs> I have the advantage. And that gives me enough time to draw my weapon. From batons to pepper sprays. If we are behind the car and I'm running around the car and you are spraying me meanwhile, after 20 seconds, do I always just want to run around and get sprayed? Definitely not. That's how you use uh, the other things for your advantage, because you will have to be reacting and he's the one making the action. You need to use your weapons and everything you can outside to help you. But of course, the training here will make you be able to decide between should I just go into him and solve it with hands? Should I go for the nearest object because there's a chair? And now I'm defending with chair, much better against machete. I have some improvised weapon or just using the cars like we told you. It will depend on the training, because different distances, different solutions, of course. The video itself will not solve your problem with machete. It was just information for you, what to believe in, what actually is right and what is completely bullshit. That's why we want you to share this video. You don't even know how many people think that they will get their hand there and it will just slide off. Many people are training this way and they think that it's training good. You can train this for 10, 20 years, the result will be the same and it's going to be death. That's why we want you to share this video with as many people as you can, help us save lives. Comment, or maybe what other weapons you want to see, what more you want to know about machete, and you need to put into training, because only fighting against a knife is one thing, but on the street, million people, million fights, million weapons, like, you'd never know what the person will get out, and you don't want to be surprised, but that's up to you. So if you will get into training, better for you, if not, Okay, but don't be surprised when it happens. Not necessarily only in, in the streets, uh, but even if you are, let's say, on the holidays in Kenya, like me, and there was the problem with the machete attack of the multiple attack, and I have to know how to solve it, something like this, for survive. Yeah, it helps. <laughs> Definitely. That's why we want you to share and like the video, so we know you enjoyed it. Let us know other weapons you want to see. Subscribe so you can see even more videos like this. And definitely, we thank you for watching till the very end, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.